given 4x squared minus y squared equals to 171 and 2x minus y equals to 9. Question 2.3.1 says calculate the value of 2x plus y. How do we find the value of 2x plus y? We see that we are given 2x minus y which is equals to 9 and now our task is to find the value of 2x plus y. To start, let us label our two equations. 4x squared minus y squared equals to 171. Let us call that equation 1. And then we have 2x minus y equals to 9. Let us call that equation 2. If we take a look at equation 2 over here, we can see that the left hand side is a difference of two squares. What do I mean by that? Remember, any number, for example, x that is raised to the exponent 2 is called a square. And similarly, y raised to the exponent 2 will be called a square. So this is x squared and this is y squared. And then if you look at your equation over here you see that the operation between these two squares is a minus and we know that if we subtract any two numbers from each other the value or the answer that we get is called a difference hence for this that's why i'm saying on the left hand side we have a difference of two squares Because on the left hand side of equation 1 over here, we have a difference of two squares, we can factorize the left hand side. But then how do we do that? So we can use a sort of a general formula where we say, for example, let's say we wanted to factorize a squared, x squared multiplied by x squared minus, so you see it's a difference now, b squared multiply by y squared so you see it's a difference of two squares and how would factorize it will just open two brackets and then in the middle of the first bracket you put plus in the middle of the second bracket you put minus and then the first term for this first and second bracket would then be ax and the second term Okay, a x and the second term for both the first and the second bracket would just be b y b y and here we have factorized this expression. To factorize 4x squared minus y squared, we will follow the same procedure. So we will see that okay for 4x squared minus y squared a is equals to a squared is equals to 4 and then b squared because you know the coefficient there is 1 we don't need to write it is actually just so b squared equals to 1 but remember to factorize we need the value of a and b so we're not really interested in a squared and b squared so we have to solve for for them to solve for them we just introduce a square root on both sides so we have the square root of a squared equals to the square root of 4 the same thing the square root of b squared equals to the square root of 1 so what you do on the left you do on the right and then this square root will just cancel this exponent we are left with a and this is a perfect square because it's a square root we have to say plus or minus 2 so we know that the square root of 4 is 2 but then because we introduce the square root we have to put that plus or minus the same way here we will have that plus or minus 1 1 is a perfect square and its square root is 1 but remember we're not interested in the negative values of a and b we're interested in the positive values hence the value for a would then be equals to 2 and then for b similarly would just be 1 because now we have found the value of a and b we can just put them over there so this means that okay let me just put this in a box so this means for x squared minus y squared if we factorize it a we said it's 2 is going to be 2x plus and then we say b is 1 we don't need to write it so we simply write 
y and then similarly 2x minus y so essentially this means that we have actually factorized 4x minus y squared which is now when we factorize it we see that it is equals to 2x plus y brackets 2x minus y and we know that from equation because from equation one this entire thing is actually equals to 171 okay so let's do a quick recap so we had an equation for x squared minus y squared equals to 171 and we call that equation one and then we went on to factorize it because that we've to factorize the left hand sign because it was a difference of two squares and we found the left hand side to be equals to 2x plus y in brackets multiplied by 2x minus y in brackets and that entire thing is equals to 171 and we call that equation 1a because it's from equation 1 and then we still remember from the beginning we have that equation 2x minus y equals to 9 and we call that equation 2 so now our next step is to solve for 2x plus y how do we do that so you can see that okay i actually have the the value of 2x minus y is 9 this means that i can just take replace 2x minus y in equation 1a with the value 9. What do I mean? So I can just say 2x plus y and then replace the value of 2x minus y with 9, multiply by 9, then the entire thing is just going to be equals to 171. But remember, we are solving for 2x plus y. This means that we want to be left on the left hand side with only 2x plus y. How do we then get rid of this 9? To get rid of that 9, we have to divide both sides by 9. So we just divide by 9, divide by 9. So this 9 will cancel that 9. And then the same with 171 divided by 9 is equals to 19, if I'm not mistaken. And on this side, you're only left with 2x plus y. So if you look at this, we have now actually found what we were set with the question required us to find, which is the value of 2x plus y, and we found it to be equals to 19. So now we have found the value of 2x plus y to be equals to 19, and let us call that equation 1b. So now what is our next step? Our next step is to find the value of x as well as the value of y. So how much is x and how much is y? To do that, we can simply use these two equations. So that is equation 2 and equation 1b. And we're going to solve them simultaneously using the elimination method. I'm not going to go into detail about the elimination method. The video on elimination or solving simultaneous equation is already up on the channel. And I have left the description for that video or the link to that video in the description. So how do we do this? So we say, okay, we have 2x minus y equals to 9. And then we have 2x plus y equals to 19. So now we want to eliminate the y from both equations. How do we do that? To do that, we simply add the two equations. So we have 2x plus 2x is going to give us 4x. And then we have minus y plus y which is zero so these are additive inverses so meaning here we'll just be left with zero and then we have nine plus 19 that is going to give us the value of 28 this means that we actually have 4x equals to 28 but then we want to be left on this side with x to do that we simply divide both sides by 4 divided by 4 and this 4 is going to cancel that 4 4 divided by 4 is 1 and then our x value is going to be 7 so now, okay, so now divide it and we find the value of x to be 7. So now we have solved for x. Our next step is to essentially find the value of y. 
We have found the value of x to be 7 and now our next task is to find the value of y. To do that, we can simply substitute the value of x into equation 1b here. You can substitute into any of this equation, but for simplicity, let us use equation 1b. So we can say 2 and the value of x is 7 plus y, which is equals to 19. Okay, and then 2 times 7 is 14 plus y equals to 19. And then we want to be left on the left-hand side with y. We can just minus 14 from both sides. So we have 14 minus 14, which is equals to 0. So we have 14 minus 14 is equals to 0, meaning on this side we are only left with y. And 19 minus 14 is 5. So the value of x is 7 and the value of y is Five. In coordinate form, we can write this as 7 is to 5. So we have found the value of x to be 7 and the value of y to be 5. And now we said we want to check if these values are the correct values. How do we do that? We can simply substitute the value of x and y into any of this equation and check whether the left hand side is equals to the right hand side so let's use for example equation one so in the place of x in equation one we will put the value seven and in the place of y in equation y we will put the value of y which is five so we have four okay so we have four and then the value of x is 7 squared minus y. The value of y is 5 all squared, which is equals to 171. Or at least it's supposed to be 171. We don't know, remember. And then we will say, okay, so it's 4. And then 7 squared is nothing but 49. And then 5 squared is nothing but 25. Okay, let's see. 4 times... 49 is 196 minus 25. And if you minus these two values, you will get 171. And so we can see that, yes, it is true that the left hand side is equals to the right hand side, meaning that our values are correct. So, yes, this brings us to the end of our video. Remember to like, subscribe, and yeah, leave a comment.